Hi guys, today we are talking about atomic physics and the Rydberg constant. So in this problem it says the wavelengths for the passion series for hydrogen are given by 1 divided by wavelength equals RH or the Rydberg constant multiplied by 1 divided by 3 squared minus 1 divided by n squared n equaling 4, 5, and 6. Calculate the wavelengths for the first three lines in the series identify the region of the electromagnetic spectrum in which these lines appear. So the first thing we need to do is just rewrite this equation solving for wavelength. So we've got 1 divided by our wavelength is equal to RH uh, multiplied by 1 over 3 squared minus 1 over n squared. So if we were to take this up here and then we take this whole big piece and throw it down here, we get uh, this wavelength is going to equal 1 over, so you got uh, the wavelength and I'm just switching sides so you know, uh, but so you're going to have 1 over this whole function. So you take RH multiplied by 1 over 3 squared minus 1 over n squared. And so since we are uh, doing 4, we'll start there. So we'll say 1 minus 4 squared. Okay. And when we do that, um, so I got the 1 over the RH, which was just this. This is the constant we are using. Okay, um, and so we've got the Rydberg constant here, and then we've got 1 over 3 squared minus 1 over 4 squared, and it comes out to be 1874.6 nanometers. So, 1874.6 nanometers. All right, so that's the first wavelength. And then for a part, uh, for, for the, the second line, the only thing you're going to do is replace, uh, I'm just going to replace this 4, replace with a 5, so you're going to have 25, and it is going to so that's the only thing we did, and it's going to be uh, 1, 2, 3, 1281.5 nanometers. So 1281.5 nanometers. And then for the third, third line, we're going to replace, replace uh, that with a 6 and we are going to get uh, 1093.5 so 1093.5 nanometers right. so uh, so we got our first second and our third now it says identify the region of the electromagnetic spectrum in which these lines appear. Well, as we know, visible light uh, goes from roughly 375 nanometers to about 720, 25 nanometers. So if it's above that, which it is, I mean, we're ranging from 1,000 to, to 1,800 nanometers here, um, it's going to fall in this infrared region. So um, typically, uh, the infrared region, it starts right here, which is... Uh, you know, right around that 725 uh, marker, um, and then it's going to go to here, which is right before the microwave range. So these wavelengths are longer than uh, visible light, and that's how you solve that problem.